Alright y'all, so we got a town meeting to go to and I am really nervous. Uh oh, this is not good. Look at all the police here. Wow. Uh oh. Never good when you go to a town meeting with this many police. Well, let's get to it. I got butterflies in my stomach. I have no idea what's going on here, but basically this was almost a mandatory meeting. Whew. Looks like we are a little bit late, so we'll get in there, but it looks like the whole county is here. Oh man. Oh man, I can hear them in there. This isn't good. Wow, can you hear that? That is a commotion in there. So, real bad news. I, I am just sick to my stomach. I, I think I need a... Oh, man, I, I'm gonna puke. I'm gonna puke. Uh, oh, man. Ugh. Oh, man. So, the rumor's true. Everything... The road is gonna be coming. Oh man, I got I gotta get out of here. I can't. Oh man, everything's true. So I don't know if you want to call it a rumor, but Jim was correct. There is a big interstate coming to this area. That was basically to let all the landowners know what is going to be. Expected. Which lands are they going to have to purchase to put the interstate in? Wow, look at all these police. Now I understand why they're here. They are keeping the peace because they thought it would get rowdy. You heard it in there? Yeah, it might get a little rowdy. Ooh. So the bad news is, is our land it's basically gonna go right over top of it so they're putting in a 30 mile strip and basically it's a connection interstate to connect two different interstates together it's gonna run right over I have no idea why they want to run it through this hilly ground but oh, I am just sick sick to my stomach oh oh man I have no idea if we should just uh, take their price lawyer up or what man this this is this is huge this is huge oh so I, I don't even know what to do right now uh, I think I'm just gonna sleep on it. I mean, this, this, this is, this is heartbreaking for me. I mean, look at this beautiful land we own. Our, it stayed in the family for years. Oh, man. My, uh, wife is gonna be heartbroken when I give her the news. I don't know what to do. Oh man. Just listening to that breeze in that air right now is oh it's just so heartbreaking. I, I I don't know how many days I'll get to do this before this won't be here anymore. Such a shame. This beautiful piece of land. Oh man, I, I think I'm just going to sleep this off. This is horrible. Is that, is that my phone? Who is calling me? Hello? Hey Stevio, it's Jim. I got some important news. Hold on Jim, let me get out of the room so I don't wake up my wife. Okay, okay. Sorry to bother you. What do you need Jim? Ah, ow! What the ow. heck is wrong with you Stevio? Ah. Just stubbed my toe. 
Ah! Are you done Ooh. whining yet, baby? Ooh, that that's hurts. I'm sorry, Jim. What were you saying? Stevie, I couldn't sleep, so I got online. I was looking at Missouri's top rentals. Man, did I find a nice place. It's J over there in Northwest, I think. You're moving, Jim? Stevie, stop interrupting me. You never respect me. Now, if we need an okay. auction, we need to do it now. Just get online and look at it. Quickly. You want me to... All right, I'll, I'll get online and look this place up. What did I just tell you? Yes, you're going to go look it up. All right. Now, look, this place is beautiful. All right, We Jim. are going to auction. We need to do it right away. I recommend you All do right, it. All right, I'll right. look it up now. Jeez. All right, Jim. So I guess... Ugh, man... I don't know why Jim wants to wake me up so early, but he wants us to look up this place, so I'm going to look it up quick. So I think Jim is considering moving to Missouri. Whew. That is a nice place there. Wow. Wow. Look at that place. Oh, man. I. So I think Jim is basically considering just uh, moving out of this place altogether. Ooh, man. That, that would be... I don't know what to think about that. I mean, whew. That's a big change for us. Best thing to do is sleep it off. We still thinking about it in the morning. Ooh, man. Ooh, so I couldn't sleep at all last night. I was up doing figures. So basically, uh, the government, because they're putting this interstate through this land, is going to pay us $1.5 million for this land in this area, uh, which is a great price. Uh, what is considered in there is something like a homestead act. Uh, basically means they are going to have to bulldoze this home and everything, all the buildings, all this place basically. This whole beautiful farmyard may disappear for good. But they give you extra money for that. So we basically got one million for the land. We don't own a lot of land. We own, what, this this piece of ground here which is about I would say 60 acres uh, and then another 60 acres there and then 55 right on the other side of that dirt road the dirt road kind of splits it in half we own the pasture land there so the pasture land makes up about 40 acres altogether with the grassland behind it and then we own that far field, which is about a 40-acre field. So we own all this land, which, man, I mean, just look at this. I mean, this, my poor fishing hole is going to disappear. No one's going to get to enjoy early morning casting. For bass oh man such a shame such a beautiful area might be gone forever but basically I was up all night uh, trying to get everything ready and trying to figure out do we want to do this because to be honest we we need to sell all this stuff I'm not gonna move it all to Missouri we're all the way in to we're all the way in Oregon so just think about that the transportation fees would just be redonkulous so there's going to be a lot of farmers affected by this there's going to be a lot of retirements there's going to probably be a lot of liquidations there's probably going to be a lot of farm sales so what Jim was basically telling me is if we need to sell, we need to sell now. We need to just get out of Dodge, move to greener pastures. And it always looks greener on the other side. 
I mean, Missouri, whew, you talk about beautiful. But I, I think being able to fight this in court and everything, I just think our chances are slim to none. Don't think we'll have a great opportunity to uh, break this up. I mean, some farmers around here are lawyering up and trying to stop the whole move. Uh, I think I'm just going to take the money. I'm going to sell everything, almost everything. I, there's some stuff I just can't let go. I, I don't know exactly what. I mean, but there is a... We have a... I, I don't know, man. There's just so many favorites around this farm. But, I think Jim says he knows a company, so Mulberry Auctions is basically can do our farm. So, I was up all night getting my post together, so I contacted them this morning, and they said yes. So, they're going to send a representative out here. They do all the research for all the equipment, post it all. I know, you know, we want to be quick, but you want to put these posts out there so people can see it. And I think about a week will be quick. It'll be rushed, but I think it will give enough time for everyone to uh, look at it. Uh, people that are going to phone bid or maybe maybe internet bid because they do do online bids while they're bidding, of course. So, Or send somebody here to inspect the equipment. They can get that all arranged. Otherwise, if you just do it, then you know somebody's gonna make a lot of money off your stuff that you sell cheap. And I think I can get some big time buyers in here just because of my antique uh, tractor set. You know me, I like all these antique tractors, so I think our chances are really good because I have a lot of old equipment, so the old tinkers around here just the ones that want a hobby farm or just the ones that you know grew up on a track driving a tractor and want one i have a few contracts i have a contract to sell all my grain so i'm basically because i'm gonna be swamped i'm gonna have to pack the house you know pack everything uh pack and get everything ready to sell all like the tools all that all my stuff all the junk i collected you would not believe how much junk you collect when you homestead like this it just piles up everywhere but because of all that i'm going to have a company go load up all my grain they're gonna I'm gonna sell my cattle at the next uh, basically cattle auction and uh, so I'm gonna have a hauling company come and pick up all the cattle all my dairy cows all my beef cows my cow calves all that is going to sell basically for the most part I'm wiping my hands and starting over but it was forced this is all forced on me don't have a choice to do this so it's it, I'm still sick this is all a rush I mean shoot like three days ago I thought this was going to be my life I was gonna live here forever not anymore I'm gonna grade some areas to park some stuff here so I'm just gonna grade some gentle areas here so I can park all my equipment, line it up so they can see it all. And I don't know where my I left my grading box at. I did have a grading box and I don't know where it's at. Eh, I think that will be a little bit too hard to control. Problem with this big bulldozer is it kind of like digs in and I don't want it bumpy. The grading little box like that or grading uh, I guess a what do they call that a gravel edge grader uh, it you can get it more flat and that's what I want I don't want it looking bad so I'm gonna get my uh, trusty old 
4440 here and I'm gonna start grading it nice and then I'm gonna start parking all of our stuff there. I don't know if I'm gonna get rid of this tractor I mean this this would be kind of hard I can only keep a few a few pieces of equipment so I really don't have a lot of options to choose from. I'm going to have to pick pretty quickly. I've never felt more undecisive right until this moment. I mean, there's so much that I want to do, but I can't do. Whew. This is this is a tough one here. Very tough. All right, we're going to start grading away here. Just grading a little pass. Let's keep going here. Oh man, we are grading away. So we basically, I want to grade this as much as possible. Don't know exactly. I think I'm just going to line up everything right here for now. I think that would look nice. All right. Pull this. Oh man. Yep, this better get a snicker bars because this is going to take a little while. I think I'm just going to do kind of lines here so then everything can be basically placed along the line. I don't know exactly how I'm going to break this up right now, but I'll get it all figured out. Alright, we're grading away here. Yep, I think that's good enough. Good enough for government work. So tough when you gotta sell everything you love. I have no idea which ones I'm going to end up pulling all the way to Missouri, but for right now, I'm gonna put this on the lot. All right, so I think I'm gonna get this uh, 620 just because I like hearing it run and I want to run it for a while. I'm gonna use this to basically pull all of a lot of our implements and uh, yeah, start parking all these over there so they're nice and out for display. Man, it just gets me so upset that I have to sell all my stuff again. It just feels like I just did this not too long ago. Really started enjoying this area, started settling, and now this has to happen. It seems like there's always something when you're farming. and I mean, the luck of having basically uh, some interstate running through your farm is just unbelievable. I mean, who gets that unlucky? I mean, this is not... This is... This is huge. I, I don't know who... I don't know who really gets this unlucky, but I feel like I should play the lottery because... All of my unlucky days are behind me, I guess. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. It's just, uh, that's why I like driving these open caps when you're pulling stuff like this. It's so easy just to grab something, jump on it, pull it over here quickly, get to going again. I mean, listen to this old tractor. Man, I don't know, we might have to end up keeping this thing. Parked a little bit close there. Yeah, got our old chisel here. Unhitch this. Back for another one. Wow. Just so sick that this whole area, it's not gonna, may not never see it again. Just so. Oh, just got a bad feeling in my stomach almost. Gotta hitch each of these up. Shut up. Get on 
him again. Oh. You guys see that? It's like we're about ready to do some cattle wrangling, so our semis are on the way. Come to pick up all of our poor cattle. So all of our dairy cattle are actually being sold to another dairy, so nothing I don't think is going to slaughter except probably our steers. But we are going to have to park this, probably just park it in my front yard. I'm going to jump in over here and start uh, rounding up some of my cattle and start loading up these trucks. Jump in my little Honda here. Run around. Gonna have to start rounding them up. Oh man, so sad. I love you, cattle. I love you. All right, come boss, come boss. All right, let's. Hey, uh. Are you ever going to listen to me? We need to... You guys need to uh, start heading up. I know. I know. Don't worry. Don't worry. Cow-calf operation or beef operation is going to purchase you. Whoa, 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 whoa. You need to go this way. Oh, man. Maybe it's better off just selling these cattle and starting over. Oh, man. This is just so sad. Oh man, all the cattle leaving. Ooh, man. Ah, oh, man, I thought you would be with me forever, cattle. They're all taken off. That's all of them. Cow calves, dairy. Ooh, man. Carrying my pride and joy. Oh man, I hope them all go to a rancher that will extend the herd, make build this, extend the herd, build that into what I always dreamed it could be. Man, just don't know how I feel. I mean, it's been so long since I didn't have a cow to my name. Wow, they're all leaving. So I basically thought about it a little while and I'm just, there's no use just being sad about it. I have no idea if this if we are going to be in a better life or not, so I'd just as well be happy uh, get all my equipment put over there. I mean, we got, I mean, no matter what, we're, we still got good health, we still got our wifey, still got everything we need. I mean, we are going to make out pretty good with this whole cell, most likely, I'm hoping. Uh, why why be discouraged from that? Why, why you know, uh, think that, you know, the world's against me and, you know, just throw it all away? You know what? We are going to stand on our two feet. We're going to get out of this. Uh, sounds like... You know, at least I'll know one farmer over there. I hope at least. And at least that's better than nothing. So so I'm driving my little Ford here. I know. I know. This this thing is a little bit kind of small for this big old... Uh, this thing is a little small for my big old snowblower, but you know what? All I'm doing is moving it, so... Woo yeah. Do a little bucking around here. I'm glad I can still steer with this thing, because it's... Woo! Little bit crazy. I'm getting all this basically put over here. You can see I did it. I've gotten a little wear. A little... Basically, I, I've gotten some distance. I still have a lot of equipment still going. Pretty sure I'll fill up this whole area here. 
that is, I mean, I really hoarded the equipment. I can't believe I got this much equipment on this farm in so little of a time. All right, I'm going to move this grater back over here. Just trying to keep everything together. Not, you know, completely because you can see some of this stuff. Like I have a mower over there, but oh well. It's going to have to do for now. I think I'm going to go get that disc. Yeah, I, I just like driving this thing. I drove that uh, 620 a little bit. You know, I just want to drive all these tractors. I don't know which ones I'm going to end up selling just yet, but man, I mean, you just never know. It's just, uh, all right. Got my, uh, basically hydraulics so I can lift it up, hooked up. Pull this over here. So I'm going to try to put this over here by the... What is that? Uh, Alice Chalmers uh, chisel? Or no, that's a cultivator, sorry. It's aligned as best as possible. There we go. Alright, so now we got to go find another piece of equipment. I'll probably just get this mower over here. Yeah, I'll pick up the mower. Got a lot of equipment in that shed there too. A few tractors. Man, it's, it's like never ending. Keep on finding more and more equipment around these nooks and crannies that just everywhere. You know, I forgot I had this much equipment. You guys probably think I'm all crazy, but man, when you just when you're farming so hard and you know you, you're a farmhand too, you know you kind of almost forget wow, I really acquired a lot of uh, equipment here. I think that'll be alright. Well, we're just going to leave it there kind of put the balers by it. I think I'll go get that uh, John Deere baler. Man, got to empty out all these buildings. That building, I mean, just look at all that stuff in there. Crazy. We've got our grain cart there. We've got these tractors. We've got our trucks. We've got another tractor over there just sitting. Our old, uh, what is that? Uh, International over there. 1256. I don't even think we use this John Deere mailer. Pretty sure we did not use it because we got that Vermeer baler and we just it was working so good where we didn't have to use our backup baler. It's still a good baler, but you know it's got so many bales through it where it's kind of a backup baler now. Probably pretty rare that somebody would buy this GMC truck, but you never know. So we have this. I just want to go through it all. Just nostalgic lane. I know. So we got this New Holland 1915 chopper. So it's old, but man, that thing was good chopper for us. Always ran. We got this 9650 STS harvester. We brought from Arden Oaks. Wisconsin so we had that for a long while we got this triple set of uh, John Deere planters I believe what are these these are the 8350 we got this old water trailer got this old sickle bar here a couple of old chisels uh, a uh, Alice Chalmers uh, cultivator uh, Case International disc and a Case International uh, row crop 12 row planter here. We got this, uh, what we use for lime, this spreader. Got our Pride of the Prairie. I just love this trailer. Man, I should bring it. This, this would just take up so much room on the trailer if I ended up bringing this. Oh man, that's that's a tough call. I just love this trailer though. 
All right, let's get around here. So we got two ranch hands. We ended up bought, purchasing this one from our neighbor. Man, I just love the way them things work. They still got really good flow boards in them and everything. They're not rusted out like you usually find. They're aluminum trailers. And uh, they're going to have to go for a good price for me to sell, I guess. We got these, this big Tex uh, uh, gooseneck trailer, 35 foot. Man, this thing. Most likely we will use this to pull a few of our uh, equipment across state lines. But just to see if somebody's crazy enough to make us sell it. You never know. Got this Wilson, uh, what is this? This is a 36 foot uh, grain trailer, I believe. Uh, we got our John Deere Draper head here. I think this is a 25 foot. We got our Coon feeder wagon here with a scale on it. We got our old and trusty, probably from a foreign country, uh, bulldozer, our bulldozer got our little wagon trailer here we got uh, two double rear axles little uh, forge wagons here little flatbed car trailer we got the thunder thunder creek little uh, uh, diesel trailer there we got our little uh, pressure washer trailer we got a mower we got a snow blower. We got our little uh, man. I I really like this thing. I you know you just use these planers everywhere you go. I wouldn't mind having another one. Man, this new Holland little uh, disc bind that wouldn't be a bad thing to bring either. We got a John Deere round baler and we got a mirror. So we got the uh, brother sisters here. So uh, they're almost exactly alike, but. Uh, I really like the Vermeer, even though I really like John Deere, but Vermeer, man, just something about him. I actually bailed a lot with Vermeer back in my day, so good little round baler. Got a little uh, New Holland uh, hayliner, little square. We got this 1256 International Turtle. Man, I just love the colors of this old International. Such a beautiful color. A little Ford 8N there. A 620, a little uh, Massey Harris 30, uh, McCormick Deering, a W9. Our, basically, we didn't get to use as much a Super M Farmo. John Deere 80 Series Diesel in uh, Model A, a uh, John Deere 6000. Look at this beautiful Kenworth. Man, that thing looks good. looking good, old Kenworth, looking good. We got the GMC little uh, top kick truck here. Uh, and then we got this international flatbed. I mean, this thing, this thing was nice for us. Had a lot of use for that. Good old flatbed. And we got our feeder wagon or mixer wagon there. We got a little Honda. Man, you'd just be amazed at how much you actually drive one of these once you purchase one. Especially if you live out in the country, you will wear that thing out. I know a few people that buy these as diesel. I don't really recommend buying them as diesel. Just because you do short little burst of them and then you park them. You know, you drive them a little short distances. I don't think a diesel would last long, but that's just my opinion. We got this old, uh, our old trusty military truck here. Man, it's going to be hard getting rid of that truck. Looks like I, I was doing some cookies in the grass there. So some donuts, whatever you want to call them. So that's why the tires are so green. And our little Dodge Gen 1 there. Oh man, our Ford Ranger XLT. Whew. What a beautiful truck. Don't think you're a sell, but maybe. Denali HD. Beautiful. This is my wife's new uh, Jeep Drank Cherokee, so I don't know for sure. I mean, 
she probably won't let me uh, drive that. She just loves the headlights. I mean, just look at that. When it's lit up, it's all LED lighting like that. Got a little new haul in here with a little bit of straw in the, in the bucket. That comes for free in case you're interested. Just a beautiful L234. Got this 4020 with a loader on it. Open cab. We also got a 806 with a loader. And that has a year-round cab on it. Just love that grill. Just love the way that sounds. 7210 here. 4440. Oh man. I'm gonna miss you, baby. Please don't sell. Uh, 7140. Whew. Just so many memories. My childhood. This thing such a great tractor to have on the farm tillage everything we needed a haul 4000 here all the way from canada oh a little new idea uh manure spreader still smells like manure that comes free of charge smells like poo all of it i mean good luck getting that smell out of it but that comes free h and s manure spreader our pretty new Brent V800. Beautiful grain cart. We got the Pride of the Prairie. I think we... Yeah, we already went down that road. Yeah. 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 But there is so many memories. So I enjoyed this, this place, this area. I enjoyed being a farmhand for Jim. But it's so sad it must all come to an end. But thank you all for watching. Uh, this series was enjoyable for me. Thank you. Um, sorry, but every good thing has to come to an end sooner or later. I will try to make the next series even better. But thank you all for watching. And I will see you I don't know where. you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe see you next time